That's him, everybody. Joker. That's what's up. Joker, one of the better movies of last year. Uh, it's certainly one of the best. Uh, I loved it. Uh, it's nominated for an Oscar, by the way. So, yay for the Joker. Hold on, I'm going to get these uh, scissors out of the way so I don't cut myself. Joker, like I said, uh, I really enjoyed the movie. I saw it a bunch of times in theaters. It surprised me, it shocked me, and more importantly, it stirred, I mean, it affected me. It, it affected me as a fan of, uh, the, obviously, the Joker, as a fan of, of DC, and as a fan of movies, and as a human being, it, it was really a bit of an eye-opener. It, it kind of made me, it, it gave me a whole new perspective on life, uh, and... Uh, yeah, it was a very emotional experience of a movie. I don't think I talked about that as much uh, in uh, my uh, review that I did uh, back when I uh, saw the movie, but this movie, it definitely changed me and uh, it kind of, you know, made me see things a, a little differently, especially with the way uh, uh, I treat other people and uh, other people treat me and the whole... Uh, way that society works. It was a really, well, it's a very deep movie that I can talk all day about, but uh, that's not why you came here to, uh, to, to, why you click on this video. You click on the video to see me react to an honest trailer for The Joker. That's, I guess I sh probably should have started with that. I'm tired, guys. I've, it's been a very long day and I have, I've barely slept. So, huh, let's just watch this honest trailer uh, for The Joker. And uh, see what the honest trailer people thought of this movie. Let's go. From the studio who won't release the Snyder Cut and this guy. I'm sorry, you have the most beautiful feet. Comes a period piece about psychological and social decay with the bare minimum of Batman it took to get the movie made. There, look, with the pearls and everything. Happy Joker. Prepare for a film the media said was too dangerous for you to see, which made audiences way more excited than regular marketing ever could have. Cruising its way to a billion dollars on a 55 million budget because it got hyped like a cinematic fear toxin that would turn you into the Joker, even though it ended up being a mumblecore Scorsese riff about the world's saddest clown. Hey, I wish movies turned you into the protagonist. I've been watching Iron Man for 12 years and I'm still a moron. <laughs> Journey to 1980s Gotham, where the garbage is high, the clown rental business is booming, and everything is yellow. <laughs> From this urban squalor, a Joker will rise in Arthur Fleck. And if Marvel is known for making their heroes get ribbed, DC will one-up them by making their star get ribs. He's a loner who deserves all your sympathy for being poor and mentally ill, but earns all of your contempt for being a viral video star and wannabe comedian. Uh, he's got the faded hoodie and everything. Dude looks like he's about to ask you to do his podcast. Go back to the open mic, you piece of sh Boo! Some jokers are in it for the ego. Some just want to watch the world burn. Now, this version is here to teach you a lesson. You should show more compassion for the mentally ill, or they'll snap and kill you! <laughs> hey, wait a minute. But this Joker has a few unique tricks up his sleeve, like the superhuman capacity to, um, bathe the elderly. <laughs> Sleep in a refrigerator. <laughs> And instead of writing damaged on his forehead, just damage his forehead. <laughs> Yikes. You better fight Batman quick before he turns 12 and overpowers him. Come on, he's got wings, can't do nothing. Experience a film with one of the all time great Joaquin Phoenix gangly loner performances and one of the, let's say, third most uncomfortable Joaquin Phoenix interviews. We're having fun. Is that, that's We're fun? We're having fun. Just relax, okay. seriously. Do I have a large frog in my hair? No. No. Something's crawling out of my scalp. That shows off one of the greatest actors of our generation's incredible range from laughing normally. <laughs> 
to laughing because of a medical condition. <laughs> <laughs> to laughing maniacally. <laughs> to cry laughing. <laughs> to every laugh in between. <laughs> you know, you'd think a film that was 70% laughing and dancing would be more a beat, but the other 30% is getting the crap kicked out of him. And he's still walking Do you after feel that? some type of way about society? This movie does. And the message is going to be in close up and bold just in case you missed it. The rich don't listen. Because the true villains of Joker are uncaring billionaires, misogynist Wall Street jerks. Don't ignore him. He's being nice to you. Lack of government funding. The city has cut funding across the board. Social services is part of that. And easy access to guns. You gotta protect yourself out there. So wait, it wasn't an incel rallying cry or an anti-SJW screed? How is it possible that every hot take about this movie was wrong, including the director's? So enjoy a Joker movie that's such a thoughtful, challenging comic book movie. It almost qualifies as a movie movie with a take on the iconic character that perfectly fits our current day and age that isn't fun like the 60s, innocent like the 80s, grim like the 2000s, or embarrassing like the 2010s, <laughs> but exists less as a story than a piece of content to hysterically react to and immediately forget until the next outrage comes along. Everybody just yells and screams at each other. I'm so sick of this society. It makes me so mad I'm gonna lose it and do Joker stuff. Mom, get in the bath. Starring Moper. Moper. We're all gonna laugh at you. Don't trust Z in apartment 8B because she's imaginary. You are not the father. Lil Wayne. <laughs> Don't you go round and round to re-row. I heard you paint faces. Hey Arthur, are we cool? and stairs. Dance Dance Revolution. Dance, dance revolution. <laughs> Me here at last on the ground, and you in midair. These finance guys know all the words to send in the clowns. A lot of late night Sondheim sessions with the boys. When you give me my Oscar, can you introduce me as Joker? <laughs> nice. Let me see you shake your tail feather. Jack Skellington eating jello would technically be cannibalism. This ish just got real. Juicy Petunia. Hold on, I got I, I gotta look at that last one. Please say Juicy Petunia, it'll make my girlfriend very happy, don't ask why. Okay! <laughs> okay! If there was ever a, a, a more perfect, honest trailer to put that comment on, it's definitely the one for the Joker. I'll be honest, it, it was funny, I laughed, but uh, it, I didn't really appreciate the tonal voice that the epic voice was going for in this particular one. I understand why he did it, I just, I just thought it got boring after the first uh, few sentences, but whatever, it was a really good honest trailer and I uh, really enjoyed it, and kind of makes me want to watch the movie again. I think it's still playing in theaters, but if not, I'm pretty sure it's out on digital with it, uh, anyway, so whatever, I'm just going to watch uh, Joker, uh, maybe I'll finally get my mom to watch it because uh, she kind of really, really wants to, even though she hates the Joker, but she loves good movies, I guess, so... Uh, I really enjoyed this Honest Trailer. What do you guys think about the, the Honest Trailer for Joker? Let me know, and I'll see you guys some other time, I suppose. <laughs> Hello again, everybody. I really hope you enjoyed this video, because I really enjoyed making it. So, if you like what you've seen here, please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more awesome content like this. So, until next time, guys, I'll see you guys next time.